So the series of learning Python programming language. In the previous video, we have seen loop, control, statement, uh, break, uh, continue, and pass. Right. Next thing is it's a small topic, but it's very important when it comes to Python language. What is indentation? Right. What is indentation? Why it is so important in Python? It's not so much important in other languages, but in Python, it's mandatory and essential concept. You have to follow the indentation rule while you are writing a Python code, right? Now, what is indentation? It is, see, uh, if you write like if statement or for statement, these kind of things, then suppose I'm writing for, for i in range, a simple example, five, and then once you will hit enter, then automatically in editors, like uh, in the, those, uh, we can say we are working in PyCharm ID. Automatically, cursor would be here. It will leave some white spaces. And here, suppose we are writing print high. Right? So, this line would be a part of this four. Right? So, this white space, this white space, these white spaces at the beginning of the line is known as indentation simply right now why this indentation is so important see these spaces and by default these spaces in python is what four spaces one two three four or you can say one tab right four spaces now so these four spaces or you can say one tab right now why this indentation is so important see in other languages if you write for loop or if statement like in c if you write for loop then for like i is equal to zero i less than same if i am writing less than equal to four and i plus plus and there we use these br braces curly braces to indicate a block of code means this is blue body this is block of code so here i can write something like print high or I'm again writing print Jenny two statements means these two statements are one block of code so this is a block of code under this for loop right so when you are you want to indicate a block of code in other languages C C++ Java, we use these braces right in these languages if you use this indentation that is just for readability purpose or you can say it's just a decoration item right to decorate your program to look it better but in python indentation is a mandatory concept you have to follow this when you are writing a python code because in python this indentation indicate is used to indicate a block of code there is no braces here right so here how to indicate suppose these two lines hi jenny i want within this for loop so these two lines should be indented means this indentation indicate that this is a block of code in python right and within a same block of code like these two statements are within this code block so these two lines or whatever lines you will have one two three four five six lines all the lines should be should have same number of indentation right like if we have four spaces, every line should have four spaces, four spaces, four spaces. If you write something like this, if you write this print here, here, Jenny, suppose one, two, three spaces before this line, four spaces before this line, then also it will give indentation error, wrong indentation, right? Because every line within this four for uh, you know for loop or within a same block should be should have same number of indentation right now usually we have four spaces by default right but it's up to user four spaces eight spaces seven spaces but at least one space should be there if you don't want to use four spaces just put one space after this for loop one space and write print high one space print jenny that would also be considered as indented block right so i hope now you got why indentation is so important in python it is used to indicate a block of code 
because in python we don't have these kind of curly braces to indicate a block of code right and one more thing the first line of the python code cannot be indented suppose the very first line in the python program i am suppose uh, writing like uh, a variable a is equal to 5 and if you have put some space before this line suppose one space it will give error so first line should not be indented in python right let me just show you with the help of uh, program okay so let's create a new file here indentation dot uh, sorry uh, dot py right so let's take save like i'm taking a for loop for i in like range 5 right see once you will enter my cursor is here now if i enter then by default here in id it will give you cursor here with four spaces right indented so here i'll be writing like print hi two statement print jenny so this white space this white space at the beginning of these lines or the code or statement that is known as indentation now it is indicating that these two lines are within a within same block of code and that is under this for loop right this is the body of the loop so basically we use indentation to indicate a block we use in this you know, when you are defining a function or if else statements or for loop there we have to define a block so that is what let's let's run this see hi jenny it will print five times and if suppose i am not you know putting any indent on this line that is fine it's okay now this line would be considered as a part of this four loop of the body so this line this line is one code block and this four and print these line the first line and the third line these are under the same block of code right because they are at same indent because there is no indent in these line so hi would be printed five time and then ultimately jenny would be printed only one time right but if i put suppose two space and here we have only here we have four spaces here we have two spaces so the number of spaces are not equal in these lines so that will give you an error see indentation error unindent does not match any outer indentation level because this line this line is having four in what uh, four spaces and this line is having two spaces so before that there is no line which is having two spaces this four loop is having zero space uh, you know at the beginning before starting of this line and by default these are four spaces and in python for indentation it is preferred to use spaces rather than tabs in python language right okay when you will go for the in that python dot you know org website in documentation you will get in tabs and spaces in that you know under that thing that in python you should use white spaces rather than tabs to uh, to give some indentation in your program right same if if i write here another block like if i'm writing a condition if i equal to equal to 3 then see again cursor is indented further indented now we have eight spaces right suppose print welcome right and after this i am printing print by take care this line so let's run this and see hi jenny would be printed right uh, this this range will generate 0 1 2 3 4 so for 0 hi jenny would be printed then for 1 then for 2 3 times then once i becomes 3 it also print welcome because this condition is also satisfied so it will go under this block under this block we have only one statement welcome would be printed then again for four till the end of the this range it will print hi jenny and then bye take care right so see further it is having now eight spaces 
so it is further indented if within this i am again writing if like true although it doesn't make any sense because true is always true but just to show you the indent see once you will enter here then this line is again indented again four spaces then four spaces then again four spaces right means here we are having 12 spaces so this is what indentation will give you indicate a block of code this block these two lines are in the same block sorry these three lines because if is also the one two three the second third and fourth line are having same indentation so these are under same block then this these two lines are under same block because same indentation level is there then if we write like print hello so now this line is within a new block right like this so i hope you got you know basic idea about indentation and why this is so important in python so i hope you got what it what is indentation in python and why this is so important in python language right now from the next video we'll be working on a exercise that is on a game basically hangman game so now we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care